Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I decided to make another video. Today I'm trying something a little bit different. It is still my typical bi-weekly vlog, catch up reading vlog thingy. But I've noticed during the editing phase of a lot of my videos that I have a really bad habit on camera that I want to break. And that habit is saying like and um. I say it constantly. And it's annoying, not only for me in the editing process because there's so many filler words that I have to cut out, but also it's annoying to listen to in real life. I'm super annoying and I wanna be less annoying, okay? So what I've decided to do for this vlog specifically and maybe future vlogs is after filming each chunk, I'm gonna be reviewing the footage back. And in those videos, every time I say the words like or um as a filler, I'm going to be unhauling one book. And I'm stressed because I say those words a lot. So I fear that I'm going to be unhauling a lot of books this week. Right now in my intro, I'm hyper focused on it. So I'm not saying those words at all, I don't think. But for the sake of the vlog, you're going to be coming around with me on my daily things, bookish things, and I have a lot of projects that I'm working on this week. So I'm not going to be as focused during those and I'm going to slip up, I already know. I'm so stressed, my heart is beating. What's my heart rate right now? 88, that's high for me. I actually already filmed a little sequence for this vlog before I made the decision to do this challenge. So the first thing I'm going to do for this vlog is review back that footage. I'll show it to you guys as well. And that's purely raw, uncensored footage that I'm gonna show you. And we'll see how many times I screw up in that. And you know, the challenge starts now. Okay, I've moved to the floor because it's very sunny in here today. Also, I fully have a Bob's Burgers Christmas episode on in the background. Don't worry about that. I have my footage from a couple days ago pulled up. Oh boy, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Oh, I look pretty. <laughs> so every month I come to this different city, not the one I live in, uh, for a waxing appointment. I'll just plug them real quick, I love them. But my waxing place is set in between my favorite independent bookstore and a used bookstore that I recently discovered. And like, I have to go to them. I, I can't not go to them. It's like I have to. I have to. I did buy two things. I wasn't going to. I didn't buy anything at the bookshelf, the first store. But I did go into Janus Books and I, I always feel bad going into like tiny independent used bookstores and not buying anything so i probably would have bought something anyway but i did That's actually find four. two things i really wanted this is this is them by the way first i picked up this 1998 tour anthology called legends and it's got short novels which i think are just short stories from so many people stephen king robert jordan terry goodkind Anne mccaffrey raymond e feist terry pratchett ugh, an author we're not going to mention Ursula K. Le Guin, Tad Williams, and George R. R. Martin. And I love these old, old anthologies. They just don't make them like they used to, you know? And this was a great price, so I'm happy with this. And then I, I unexpectedly bought Shadow and Bone because this is the original cover and I think it's stunning and you cannot get these anymore. And it was only $10. And they actually had the whole trilogy there and I probably would have bought the whole trilogy if they'd all been the paperbacks, but the second one was a hardcover. So I only bought the first one. And as I was leaving, like after I paid, I feel a little bad, but I did tell the owner, I was like, these are worth a lot of money, not $10. Thank you for selling me this. If you change the price on the other two, uh, you should. Because <laughs> these are the original covers and people want these. I'm in pain because I just got waxed. So I'm gonna go home. And I'm listening to Empire of the Damned while I drive. Thank okay. you. I got some good books. That was five. It was four likes and an um. And I should preface this right now because Ryan, I know, is gonna call me out on it. When I'm giving examples and using the words like and um in that sort of way, that doesn't count. It's just the fillers, okay? Thanks. That was five. Just in the first clip. 
So I guess I'm gonna go find five books to unhaul. What am I doing? What am I doing? This was a mistake. Okay, give me a second here because I might cry. Also, this is gonna be tricky because half my books, I don't know if you saw it in the earlier clip, the most stacked on the table there I'm doing a big rearrangement of taking a lot of books upstairs <sighs> so I don't even know what's in that pile it's everything at the end of the alphabet after P okay be right back okie doke I have found five books to unhaul I will admit it was pretty easy this first round but these are only the first five and I know it's gonna get worse I grabbed the Clockmaker's Daughter by Kate Morton. This is a book I bought a long time ago when I was pretty young. When did it come out? 2018, so I guess not that long ago, but in 2018, I still thought that I really liked mysteries, I guess, and historical fiction. I hadn't rediscovered my love for fantasy and sci-fi and stuff. So I used to just buy books that were on, I almost said it, <laughs> that were on the front table at the bookstore. This is sort of a historical thriller, I think. It does give Haunted House vibes, but it's not paranormal, so I don't really care. Next, this is a classic, but it's not my type of classic. So I'm getting rid of All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dewar. I know people love this book and it's a show now, I guess, but again, it's historical World War II fiction. That's just not my vibe. Okay, book number three is High Fire by Ian Colfer. I know nothing about this book. Ian Colfer wrote the Artemis Fowl books, so this was on sale somewhere, like... <sighs> okay, I'll go grab a sixth book. At the end of this, I'll grab a sixth one. This was on sale for a dollar or so, and I recognized his name, so I grabbed it, but I don't know what it's about. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, it's definitely not something I'm gonna read, but it is more interesting than I thought. So this is a hilarious high octane adult novel about a vodka drinking, flash dance loving dragon who lives an isolated life in the bayous of Louisiana. No thanks. The fourth book I'm getting rid of, again, I just grabbed on sale at one point. It's Our Lady of the Ice by Cassandra Rose Clark. This is a sort of cli-fi, which is climate fiction. It's about a group of people living in Hope City, Antarctica, which is the southernmost city in the world. And then there's a mystery that happens. And the fifth book will be The Future by Naomi Alderman. This is actually a recent release and it's a sequel to that other one, <laughs> The Power. Again, it's contemporary. These are all contemporary science fiction or contemporary stuff. I don't want them. Okay, <sighs> I need to go find a sixth book. I think it'll still be easy to grab a sixth and then it'll get harder. Book six, I'm on my way back. <laughs> Book six is gonna be The Given Day by Dennis Lehane. I love Shutter Island by Dennis Lehane. It is one of my top 10 books of all time, I would say. Once again, I saw this on sale and I grabbed it, but I'm not a mystery girly anymore. As much as I love Shutter Island, I'm never gonna read this. I have a bunch of his other books that I haven't read yet, like Gone Baby Gone and Mystic River. The Given Day is not <laughs> next on my TBR or anything, you know? Okay, that's six books already that I'm unhauling after the first clip of this video. I have to still review this clip to see if I missed any of the words we do not say. I think I'm okay. I think I caught the one that I did let slide. So uh, I'll check back in soon, okay? Bye. <laughs> So one of the things I have to do today is dye my hair. If you're following me on Instagram, you know about the hair saga, which somehow turned into a, a feminism debate. But anyways, I've bleached it twice and I decided that I don't wanna go blonde in the front anymore. I'm going to go back to how it was the first time I bleached it when it kind of uncovered the red that was underneath. Hold on, I'm just separating the pieces. Anyways, why am I doing that instead of just showing you? I'm gonna dye the front pieces copper blonde. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what is this? It's for us. You didn't tell me about it. Come here. Ryan, do you know what this video is? Dyeing your hair? Well, yeah, right now I'm dyeing my hair. This is like a life... This is a life vlog, but do you know what the theme is? If you say like and um, 
You got to unhaul something. I just said, like, I heard it. You just said it again? No, it doesn't count in example. That counts. No, it doesn't. Okay, fine. It's the spirit of the law, not the rule of the law. <laughs> Shoot. I can't believe I just said it. <laughs> oh, what my are you gonna gosh. Unhaul? I don't know yet. You want me to go down and pick? No. That could be fun. If I choose what you want. Huh? Okay, go pick one book to unhaul, but like... <laughs> go pick two books for me to unhaul, but please be smart about it because I reserve the right to say no thank you. I'm keeping those books. That's fair. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I can't believe I said it two times. Now, I've never dyed my own hair before usually Katie does it for me but it's just these front pieces and I don't want to waste her time so I'm gonna try I'm gonna look really cool for a second here hold on barrettes almost dropped them everywhere I can see that I've missed a couple of pieces I know but they're already orange so I'm not worried about it it's mostly the tops that I'm worried about also before the beauty gurus come for me I know that I should let my hair rest a bit more before dyeing it. I know that it's not gonna dye evenly because it's all different colors on the way down. If I burn off these front pieces, whatever, I'll have no front pieces for a bit. I have no idea if I've been saying the words or not. It's easier to tell for some reason when Ryan was here. He better not pick. Wait. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. He better not pick anything really good. Oh no, should I tell him that he gets to pick a third book now? Damn it. What? You have to pick a third one. <laughs> wow, that is strong in my eyeball. Here's the thing. This is also like a full head application, but I'm only doing the fronts, so I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, the first one I picked because I'm pretty sure you've already read it and you're not like in love with it. Oh. No, I'm keeping that. Okay, well I wasn't sure because I I thought... really like that book. You did? Yeah. Okay, I thought you didn't like it. No, I liked it. And then what's next? The dwarves. <laughs> because I've okay. never heard you talk about this ever. I got that at Value Village for a couple dollars, so. Okay, I accept. Okay, and the last one, because I don't think you will like it, I don't think you will ever read it, and it's fun for me to have picked it. <sighs> oh shoot. You are never going to read this book. You don't like romance. <laughs> I accept two of your offerings. I will be okay. unhauling the dwarves and Akatar. Okay. Welcome back. I don't think you hold this dear to your heart or anything. Okay. I'm pretty sure you didn't like it. That is very dear to my heart. You're wrong. It is? That's one of my favorite books ever. That's one of my staff picks at work. That's how much I like it. I did not realize that. I don't know what I'm doing. Does this look right? Perfect, huh? Perfect. <laughs> okay, I feel that I have used enough actual dye and I've rubbed it all in to my roots and whatnot. It's 8.33, so at 8.53 I'm gonna rinse this out. It's also important to mention I'm not trying to make any crazy difference here. I'm just trying to even out the color and have it be something that suits me better and doesn't wash me out as much as the bleachy yellow did. I'm really happy with how it turned out, actually. What I wanted, for now. I reviewed the footage of dyeing my hair and I did miss one L word. And then I was reviewing the me reviewing that other footage, footage. <laughs> that made sense, right? I ultimately said it was five, but it was actually six. And then I added another, so it should be seven. So I've had to pick two more books to unhaul and I did pick them. Oh, and I'll show you also what Ryan ultimately decided I should unhaul um, to replace the Maze Runner. First, I have The Witches of Moonshine Manor by somebody, Bianca Marais. This is a contemporary story about witches that I'm just not ever gonna read. I think it's more general fiction than anything fantasy, which is stupid, I don't care about that. 
Next is an ARC that I received for a book that came out in September 2023 that I didn't read called Night Watch by Jane Ann Phillips. This is another historical fiction. It's, um, I think I just said the U word. I did. So let me go grab another one after this. Oh my God. This is historical fiction and I don't like it. Firestarter by Stephen King. I'm also getting rid of. It's a movie cover, which is ugly. I also don't read Stephen King and Ryan does slash doesn't. So get rid of Firestarter. I'm upset right now. You know what? The next one we're unhauling is another Stephen King. I'm punishing Ryan by unhauling Stephen King. That's, that's mean. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get rid of Dreamcatcher because I don't have a dust jacket for it and it's really damaged and ugly and I don't want it. <laughs> okay, the reason we're filming in here is because I'm gonna start taking these all upstairs to the shelves and I wanna show you guys what I'm working on. Okay, doke. So this room's a disaster. because I brought these shelves up and some books have already made it up. They're obviously not in their right spot. This tall white shelf that's covered in textbooks is actually to go right here. I just need to <laughs> get all this out of here. The reason that I'm doing this is because I don't currently have a dedicated filming space, which I used to, and I thought I didn't need one. I thought I was fine with just filming in random places around the house. Turns out I don't like it. <laughs> so Ryan and I agreed that since this is kind of just a spare bedroom situation, we are actually going to take this bed, put it in that room, which is Ryan's office, bring the futon in here, set up bookshelves behind me here so that I can have a bookish background and then a couch and bookshelves sitting down background. So theoretically, a lot of my videos are gonna be filmed in here from now on. I can also control the lighting and the sound a lot better in this room and it's just gonna be a positive change for me. I've been trying really hard not to say the words. <laughs> this sucks. I get to take a little break from the challenge because the next little bit of filming is actually just gonna be a montage of me bringing books upstairs and organizing my shelves because they're pretty. So, haha, -ha! no one hauling for the next little bit. <laughs> I did it! What did you do? I made a nice filming space. Yeah. Do you like the way it looks? Yeah. I have so much cat hair on me. You can't hurt me, I'm wearing chain mail. Oh. Get out of here, I'm filming. I feel like my hair matches my background now. Because it's the color of books? Yes, my hair is the color of books. I've put the minimum amount of books in the background to make a passable filming space. I would say. There's still a lot of work to do in this room. I still have that whole bed behind the camera. I need to bring in the futon, I need to clean up over there. There's still crap all over the floor. I've still got these two cellos here, plus my violin. Did you guys know I play violin? I am gonna be wrapping up the vlog now. I realized watching the footage back that I haven't actually done any book stuff. Like if this, <laughs> I just said it again. 
If this is a normal bi-weekly vlog, I should be talking to you about how I finished reading The Winter King, I finished reading Dreams of Fire by Shauna Lawless, I'm currently reading Empire of the Damned and The Harp of Kings, but I didn't talk about any of that at all. I just dyed my hair and moved books around. But that's okay, because this is already a longish vlog anyway. So on camera, you guys saw me pick out 12 books. Hold on, let me grab them. I have no idea why Dreamcatcher is backwards, but it is. I actually said the L word and the U word 14 times, not 12 times. Plus I just said it again a few seconds ago. So we're actually at 15, which means I have to pick three more books. I kind of was already thinking about Last Star Burning by Caitlin Sangster. I'm not really sure what this is about. I, uh, the main character, Sev, is branded as a criminal with a star burned into her hand. Her mother's body is on display as a criminal, I guess, paralyzed, and Sev has to escape the city with the help of a guy named Howell. Is this one cheating? <laughs> How to tell if your cat is plotting to kill you, which is from the oatmeal and it's little short graphic novel things or gra uh, comics is the word. I'm going to include it in the file. You can't stop me. I've gotten past the this is easy. I'm just going to pick books that I've been wanting to get rid of for a while anyways and haha -ha, jokes on you. I don't care. And now I'm getting into books I actually care about. <laughs> A Dark and Hollow Star by Ashley Shuttleworth. I bought it because the cover is really pretty, but I, I'm i never gonna read this. It's Fae and it's Urban Fantasy, which are two of my least favorite things, and it's YA, so yeah, goodbye. Now you may be wondering, what am I gonna be doing with these books? Because I'm not throwing them in the trash. As you might know, I work for Indigo, which is Canada's main chain bookstore. And Indigo has something called the Love of Reading Foundation, which is our nationwide charity foundation to help get books for kids and getting books into schools. All Indigo stores are constantly collecting for Love of Reading, but we also do different campaigns sometimes to just boost those donations a little bit. And one of the things our store is doing right now is Blind Date with a Book, which if you're not familiar is basically we have a bunch of books we wrap them in brown paper and write a mysterious little description on it you donate any amount of money and you get to buy one of the books so everyone who works at my store and actually a couple customers as well which is really cool have been donating books for this because they're not books that we sell from the store they are all donation based books I've already donated a ton and these 15 are gonna go to that as well except for Dreamcatcher because it's kind of nasty that will just probably go into a little free library, <laughs> but the rest of them are going to be wrapped up and used for blind date with a book. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and helping me unhaul like and um from my vocabulary. Before I go, don't forget to like and subscribe. That doesn't count. That's a different kind of like. And press the bell icon so you know when I upload new videos. I upload two days a week. I love you guys. Goodbye.